Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I've got a very special replay for you. This was sent in by my name is Puffs or Stu and he is playing in his 82. The tier 5 British tank destroyer. I haven't played this thing in absolutely ages. Obviously I'm the Death Star now and I have been for quite a long time in fairness. But I don't really remember playing this thing that much. And at the start of this replay I just want to comment on this quickly. This T-28 is being a right knob. I don't know if he was doing it on purpose or if he just had to go somewhere or something. But he just stopped right in front of Stu there. And he's in an AT-2. He's not exactly going to be getting anywhere quickly anyway. But, oh, this T-28. This T-28, what is he doing? But anyway, so yeah, the AT-2 is very, very, very heavily... Um, armoured tier 5 British tank destroyer. It gets a 2 pounder gun I believe, it's a 2 or 6. 6 pounder gun, 57mm. It gets a 6 pounder gun, rapid firing British gun. It's got pretty decent penetration of 110 and it has 180 on APCR. A really nice rate of fire but a quite low alpha damage of 75. So, and also as you can see here with the 82, it's not fast. The top speed of it is 20 uh, kilometers per hour, and it has an awful horsepower to ton ratio. But that is because of the amount of armor this thing get. This thing gets. I can't remember the exact numbers off the front of my um, off the front of my head, off the top of my head, off the front of my head. Good job, Mags. Off the top of my head, but I know this thing is really, really good. Um, uh, in a tier five game, things struggle to pen you frontally. Picking up his first kill there on a Panzer 4A. Next he's shooting at a Panzer S35. Finishing him off, picking up his second kill and doing 450 damage already. Because I mean, yes, the, the alpha damage isn't amazing, but the rate of fire on this thing is l absolutely lovely. As you can see, the DPM is quite good, for, especially for a tier 5 tank. So there we go, picking up, Stu picking up his um, third kill of the game there. And then he manages to squeeze a shot into the toady. So, so far he is up to 666 damage. Ooh, number of the devil. But yeah, up to 666 damage, which in a tier 5 tank is not bad, especially after 3 minutes and when you're when you're in a um What's this tank? AT2. As you can't get more than 20 meters away from your base within that time anyway. But more about the armor on this thing, it's not just the frontal armor, it's the sides and the rear as well, because obviously the sides, it's got a lot of spaced armor on the sides with the tracks and stuff, and I think it's over 100 millimeters thick on the on the sides and the rear as well, because it's just if tanks at tier 5, and obviously as you can see in this game, you can go up against tier 3 tanks. Um, when you go up against tier 3 tanks and they have less than 100mm of penetration on their APCR you literally you can't pen this thing anywhere front rear sides the only place actually that's a light the only place you can pen it is right in the gun it actually has an armor gap right behind the gun so it's really really thin there and you can pen it but obviously you miss that and you hit the mantler which is one of the strongest parts of the tank I'm sorry this game's a bit slow, but after all, it is an AT2. I actually forgot to say this is a 53% game on the Fjords map. Um, it's a tier 5 game, but there are a lot, a lot of tier 3s. As you can see here, there was, well, almost half the team tier 3s on both sides. Now, it, Stu's team here is really not going that well. Really, really not doing well. He's picked up five kills of his team's nine. He's picked up more than the rest of the team combined here. And there's only actually two other players on his team which have got any kills whatsoever. And they're still against six enemy tanks. Him and the T-28 from the start. The T-28 actually does something good. Takes out a tank even though it was only a tier three tank. But then unfortunately the STVZ comes along. Oh, Stug. Stugs are very nasty at the, uh, um, 
tier 5. I keep forgetting what tier this is. So there you go. Stu picked up his 6th sixth, sixth kill there, picking up a top gun and taking him over 1,000 damage to 1,100. He has got to be careful because of the fur and the AMX 100 and 5 AM, the 105 AM, because both of those uh, French artillery are very, very dangerous with 105 millimeter guns. They're probably the biggest threat to this thing right now, um, especially the Lefefefe. I've got the Lefefefe. I don't know. I can't be able to say it. So I, if you say, if you hear me say Lefefefe, I mean the L A L E F H 18 B2. But you're never gonna ever hear me say that ever again. There we go, artillery swings and misses at him. Oh, and there's an AC sentinel there. That's one into him. Two into him. Misses his third. Misses his fourth. The slow traverse speed on the 82. He's bouncing shells, though. The damage block panel's not working anymore. Artillery actually bounces an HE round off of him there. Where's the sentinel? Bounces. This, this this gun's got very good penetration, but unfortunately, oh, there's a little gap. There's a little gap. Use the little gap, and he finishes off the Sentinel. Now for the ST. Oh, he puts in a clutch shot. He needs to put two more shots into the ST while avoiding the artillery fire. He's still on a quite reasonable chunk of health, but he is in an 82. He could be outflanked easily. Oh, the ST's crashed. He crashed into the Sentinel. Manages to get another shot into him. Come on, ATT! Oh, there's that gap we found earlier. Hello, ST. Picking up his eighth kill and his Radley Waltz there, and taking him over 1500 damage. Again, at tier 5, that's really, really nice game. Come on, where's the artillery? You don't, you don't want to have to go and try and find artillery in an ATT. Oh, the Luffafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafaf
and he also made just under 30,000 credits profit with a premium ta uh, a premium account, even though this isn't a premium tank, that was a pretty decent amount of credits to make. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said in the actual gameplay, please send me in your replays, please subscribe and like for more, go check out my other videos. And other than that, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.